everybody, what is going on? My name is Raven, and welcome back to my channel. Now today, I dug up something very interesting I think you're all going to really enjoy listening about. So, the murderer, the serial killer of today, for my crime video day, is Pedro Lopez. Now for those of you who do not know who this is, he was born in Colombia. And he was born in October of 1948. So he's a little bit older in age as of this point. However, he is known as a serial killer, a child killer, who was sentenced for killing 110 girls. But also, get this, it is claimed that he has inappropriately been inappropriate with these girls. And not only that, but from more than 300 across, across Colombia, Peru, and Ecuador. So not only was, did he force the, himself onto them, he killed them afterwards. Okay? So it is very, very interesting. So this is what happened. Okay? Now, he was arrested. Okay? In, I believe he was arrested in Colombia, um after murders and things like that okay and so hold on let me let me back up a minute here okay so let me tell you this from reading a little bit about this man okay i have found that there has been so many so much with this man okay what bothers me the most okay he was convicted of murder, okay? He confessed to 350 deaths, okay? He confessed to this, okay? Here is the problem. In 1980, he was arrested and convicted. He was convicted of the murders, okay? Which is great. You got convicted. What do you guys think happens? They normally go in prison for life without possibility of parole or they go on death row. Usually that's what happens, okay? However, this man got released in Ecuador by 1998. He served only three years for over 300 murders. What the hell? And get this, you guys. He was released because he had good behavior. I'm sorry, what the hell is this BS, okay? You can't just murder 300 people and then only spend eight years in prison and then get released because you were good. Wh oh my, what? I feel bad for all his victims because it feels like he didn't even deal with punishment. He just kind of got slapped on the wrist and said, okay, bye. No, 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 no. That's not cool. Okay. Now, here's where things get a little bit trickier. Okay. In 2002, there has been, you know, word that he needs to be re-arrested for fresh murder. Okay. That he just did murder in 2002. And the police are currently searching for him. So as of now, 2021, no one knows where this man is. No one knows where he is. What? Okay. So that, I think this is the one of the worst things ever. You've murdered 300 people, especially, specifically girls, which is what, you know, things are being told. And then eight years in prison over 300 victims and you committed more murders after you're released and now no one can find you. So if you guys do have any information on this man, make sure that you guys, you know, report him to the authorities and get it handled. Okay. Now, again, the country's that he has been known to do this is Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. 
I don't know if he's in the United States. I don't know if he's in England. I don't know where this man is. No one knows where this man is. But if you have any information, you need to report it. Okay? Because I'm sure that wherever, whatever government you guys are, you know, living under. Not that we're all living under government rule. I'm not saying that. Report if you notice that that's who that is or if it looks like him. Now, I'm not really going to post many pictures of him. I'm just going to do one in this video because and it's based on when he was arrested. It's not going to be based on currently or anything like that. Just in case he happens to be one of my neighbors or something and I'm about to get myself murdered. So, I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys find it informative. Okay. Now, it is said in his little biography here that because he is a living person, okay, you know, it's, they're trying to keep things up to date as best as possible, okay? But also, okay, any unpretentious, anything that's proven to be, you know, untruthful is removed immediately and especially things that are potentially harmful, which... Okay, he is known as the monster of the Andes, okay? So, what the hell are they worried about this for? Okay, so, again, this is the story, the little summary, I guess, of Pedro Lopez, the serial killer who is currently on the loose, and we don't know where he is. So, leave a like on the video before you go if you have any comments. Maybe you guys want me to cover a certain serial killer that you guys want me to do a video on. It helps if it's someone I haven't already done. Um, like I've just done John Wayne Gacy. I've done, you know, John Benet Ramsey's death case. I've done Selena Quint Quintanilla's death case story. So if it's one that I haven't done, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll take a look and see if it's something I am interested in doing. So guys, I hope you like it, and I hope you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, become part of my weird, I don't know what I'm doing with this channel, I'm just having fun, making videos with gaming and about crime, because why not? So I'll see you guys next time, bye!